Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. On this episode, I catch up with Winter Page, one of Booth Bay's favorite bartenders from Pure Wine Pizza and Pub. Check it out. Winter Page, how are we doing? Good. Hi, Tanner. How are you? Ah, I'm all right. You know, just uh, taking it one day at a time in this pandemic. Uh, how have you been handling things? Um, it's I'm not going to lie. It's been a little rough. Uh, not being able to be around people doesn't do well for me. Um, I miss my job. I miss working. Sure. It's Absolutely. really hard to, it's hard to find stuff to do to fill a whole day for the past almost two months. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people are in that boat, but, uh, you know, I see a lot of people doing different creative things to, to keep their minds occupied. Uh, how have you been staying busy during this pandemic? I've been going on every hiking trail in the area with my dog Mowgli. Uh, I've done a lot of new ones I've never done before. Um, I got the ukulele, little Andy Panagore. Uh, cross stitching, a lot of cross stitching. I see that. Actually, I saw. Uh... Just the other day, I think it might have been yesterday, you did uh, something Ninja Turtles related for Earl. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Thanks. It's usually a wintertime activity, but I broke it out for now. Right, yeah, absolutely. Well, no, I just want to thank you for talking to me today. I know, uh, you know so many people are missing coming down to the pub and seeing you and seeing Gigi. Um, you know, it's really, uh, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to, to open up and kind of get back to whatever this new normal will be relatively soon. Uh, what, are, what do you miss most about being down at Pier 1? I miss, I miss my people. I miss all the regulars and, you know, Pier 1 isn't just a job. It's really, it's a lot of my social life too, seeing people like you and everybody that comes in on a regular basis. It's, I miss, I miss everybody in town. It's funny, it's like, uh, I don't know how you feel, but this is the way I've always felt about Pier 1, is you know, we get people that come here from afar, they might be coming for, you know, a whale watch or to the botanical gardens. But in my opinion, you don't really know Booth Bay until you spent the night out at Pier 1, whether it's, you know, Shane on guitar or a night at karaoke or whatever. I mean, what, what do you think? Do you share that opinion? Oh, for the past 10 years of my life, Pier 1 has been, you know, any heartbreak or anything to celebrate, that's where you go. There's always somebody there for you. You're never really alone down there. It's really a second home for me, not to get all sappy. But yeah. during this, that's why it's been hard not, not having just that place to go and feel connected to everybody. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know they are, um, they are open, uh, doing some curbside service. Uh, so what, what, can you give me any details on that? Uh, we're open seven days a week, 11 to eight, doing pizza and sandwiches in the new kitchen, which is awesome. Corey and his crew did a really great job. It looks beautiful in there. Uh, and Gigi has been working really hard on a to go cocktail program. So, and I've got a few on here that should be up and running tomorrow. We should be able to start selling these uh, to-go cocktails. Just got margaritas, rum runners, lemon drops, uh, coffee brandy. Nice. Peach, Bloody Marys, Old Fashions, Negronis. Yeah, the list looks really good. Gigi's done a great job at that. Nice, that's awesome. Um, well, I think that's a good transition. Uh, and a little game I want to play today. Uh, it's called, uh, What Cocktail Am I? So uh, the way this is going to work, Winter, is uh, I'm going to give you a, a little description, and you've got to guess, what cocktail am I? Um, so I put some more thought into some of these than the others, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Are you, uh, are you ready to play? I'm ready. I've got a monthly fashion magazine named after me. And the gals from Sex in the City love me. What cocktail am I? <laughs> it's a Cosmo. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. 
I'm a diverse hand tool, ready to help you assemble that new work desk you just bought through Ikea. What cocktail am I? Screwdriver. <laughs> I like this, this is fun. <laughs> I'm often full of lint, but you can clean me out with a Q-tip. What cocktail am I? Often full of lint, you can clean you with a Q-tip. What is that, be belly button? Buh, buh. Ooh, I don't know, you got me. Oh, think about it, I bet you can get it. Often full of lint, you can clean me with a Q-tip. Oh my God, Tanner, I don't know. I'm a fuzzy navel. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. All right, let's try this next one. I address everyone as sir or ma'am. I regularly handwrite letters, and my house is decorated with portraits of dead relatives. What cocktail am I? Portraits of dead relatives. Man, I need a drink for this. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you stumped me. Well, I'm an old fashioned. Yep, there we go. Old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. I could have gone a number of ways with that one, but uh, <laughs> all right. Um, this one I'm gonna get into character. All right. Uh, I'm stoked to wax my board and shred those waves. We got some gnarly rad barrels today, bro. I'm tripping. What cocktail am I? They're for on acid, brah. Yeah. Whenever I'm ordering those, you know. Uh, my lights are out. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's try this one. Quarantine is getting the best of me. The walls are closing in, and I'm running out of toilet paper, and I don't have any friends to talk to because I'm such an asshole. What cocktail am I? <laughs> is that your quarantini? <laughs> That's a good guess. I, I'll, I'll accept that. I was going for Suffering Bastard. It's my favorite. Oh, I want to sit at China and have a Suffering Bastard so bad. Hey, absolutely. All right, uh, this clue is a little bit shorter, um, but I, I think you'll pick up on it. Vladimir Putin. What cocktail am I? <laughs> uh, something with vodka. Vladimir Putin, just a shot of Stoli? Yeah, I would accept that too. Uh, I was going for white Russian or maybe a Moscow mule. <laughs> this is hard. All right, I got one more. Um, okay. This is my favorite kind of chocolate and Donald Trump's least favorite porn star. What cocktail am I? <laughs> Dark and stormy. <laughs> yes. All right. You'll yeah. like that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, well, I understand you got uh, a little demonstration for us, something to uh, help us get through uh, whatever remains of this uh, tumultuous time. What, what do we got today? Well, I was going to teach you how to make the perfect coffee brandy. Okay. Uh, it's just my favorite drink ever. So, you got your Pier 1. Pure one cocktail glass. And uh, this is how my dad makes a cocktail. This is how Neil taught me. You gotta really uh, shove the ice down in there. You gotta pack it in real tight. That's Neil's way. You got your coffee brandy. And I'm definitely drinking this after, so. Good, I like the, uh, the transparency. <laughs> this is the main cocktail. You got your whole milk. You gotta have your whole milk. And just a little bit of milk. Mm. And just, okay, just a little bit more. There we go. And you don't shake a brandy. You just tumble it. This looks dangerous. I feel like I could also double his hand sanitizer. <laughs> It'll clean you out, that's for sure. Mm. That's my brandy. Good. That's so good. I haven't had one forever. 
Anyway, yeah. I do. I do appreciate good brandy. Mm -hmm. How is how is Neil doing anyway? He's loving life right now. He <laughs> no people. He's just home listening to music and reading books and uh, keeping up on his news, obviously. Right. But he's happy as a clam. Well, I always appreciate a good uh, quarantine success story. That would I expect nothing less from Neil Page. No, right. <laughs> Uh, well, know. thanks so much for uh, talking to me today, Winter. Is there uh, anything else you'd like to say? Um, I'm, I'd like to just say how much I miss having people around, and I miss everybody in town. And we'll get through this. It's gonna, it's gonna be really hard, but it will end soon, and um, life will get back to normal. It'll be okay. Absolutely, hundred percent. Well, anyways, uh, thanks for catching up. Uh, it was awesome to see you. And uh, one more mo. Uh, no wait. What's going on, dude? Hope, <laughs> hope you feel better soon. Thanks. I appreciate that, Tanner. Yeah, absolutely. Well, all right, well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Tell the family I said hi. All right, bye. Bye.